It was 29,002 feet in 1954. 22 years later, it grew by 27 feet. In 1999, the top was 7 feet higher. In 2020, it was 3 feet less than that. What gives? Mount Everest is still the tallest mountain in the world, even though its height is constantly changing. It had been measured for the first time long before anyone even climbed it. In the 19th century, there used to be this thing called a theodolite, the grandfather of mechanisms engineers and land surveyors use today. It measured the angles between two horizontal points. After that, it would go with basic trigonometry to measure where the third point is and how distant it is. That's how mountains are measured. It was complicated because people who measured it had to know where sea level is. Now, there's no sea near the Himalayas, which is why surveyors had to walk all the way from the Bay of Bengal to do the measuring. Others who tried to measure Everest later got similar results, but never the same. Sea level is constantly going up or down because of changes happening on Earth. So it's not easy to be that precise. Mount Everest is part of the Himalayan mountains, and the whole chain is getting taller by around one-fifth of an inch a year. The tectonic collision that created the Himalayas in the first place started 50 million years ago, and it's still going on. That causes growth, but also brings earthquakes that are in charge of reducing its height. So the information from older geography books may not be accurate these days. Mount Everest is the tallest mountain, but only compared to those measured above sea level. There's Mauna Kea volcano in Hawaii, and if you measure from its underwater base, it's 4,000 feet taller than Everest. Antarctica actually has several time zones, nine of them to be precise. The Great Wall of China. Nope, it can't be seen from space. Sure, sometimes you can identify it when in lower Earth orbit, but at these heights, you can see many structures built by civilization. For example, the Great Pyramids of Giza. When on the moon, you can see some green vegetation and a beautiful, mostly white sphere, lots of blue, and patches of yellow. Nope. Oh no, you swallowed a gum accidentally. <laughs> no worries, your body won't need seven years to digest it. It's a myth our parents told us to stop us from swallowing gums. Your body can't digest the ingredients found in gums, so it'll simply move it along. You don't swallow eight spiders a year while sleeping. Spiders, luckily, don't care about humans, and they don't have any prey or something else that might interest them in your bed. They see you as some kind of a big rock. The air coming from your mouth is creating vibrations that will stop them from trying to get into your mouth. A popular story that famous physicist Albert Einstein failed math in school isn't exactly true. He failed in botany, zoology, and language sections at an entrance exam to a school in Zurich. He was always great at math. Boy, I sure wasn't. It never added up for me. Humans and dinosaurs never really coexisted. They missed each other by over 60 million years. Oil won't prevent pasta from sticking. If you like adding oil, feel free to, but it will only make pasta greasier. Stir it to stop it from clumping. You only use 10% of your brain, or not. You never use 100% of your brain all at once, but you use every region almost every day. Your brain needs to work at full capacity all the time because that's something that keeps you alive. Bananas don't grow on trees. They are big herbs that resemble trees. Pineapples grow from the center of a leafy plant that's on the ground. Goldfish may not be the smartest animal ever, but their memory is longer than 3 seconds. It's up to 3 months, which isn't a lot, but enough for it to remember your 3 wishes. Shaving won't thicken your hair. It'll grow the same as it was. You may only think it's darker or coarser because the hair will grow back with a blunt tip. Coffee lovers, don't worry. Caffeine won't dehydrate you. It does have a diuretic effect, but still, the amount of water in your coffee has the opposite effect. So, you're good. You won't damage your eyes if you're too close to the TV screen. That blue light coming from it causes strain in your eyes, but it's a temporary condition. Dogs see more than black and white. They can't see the full-color spectrum as humans do, but the world is not a couple of shades of gray for them. They have around 20-40% to of visual acuity humans have, so distant things may be pretty blurry for pups. But they see better in dimmer light and can detect motions or any kind of movements way better than you do. Especially when the delivery guy is approaching the front door. Bees aren't only attracted to yellow out of all shades. They also see colors a little bit different than humans. 
They recognize only lighter ones, such as green or yellow. All darker colors look black to them. That's why they're more likely to go for flowers with light colors and clothes of the same tones. If you're wearing a green t-shirt, you might look like a flower to them. Almost all creatures on Earth have a limited lifespan. One species of jellyfish is immortal. It matures, but at one point it simply reverts back to the juvenile polyp stage. That cycle of phases is endless. There are many types of berries, but a strawberry is not one of them. Scientists define berry as a plant with three distinct layers. There's an outer skin, a fleshy middle, and internal seeds. That means watermelon, grapes, and eggplants are technically berries. Polar bears aren't really white. They have black skin, and their fur is clear and hollow. They only look white because light hits their fur and stays trapped inside of that hollow part of a particular hair. That causes something called luminescence. With all that, salt particles stick to their fur and then start scattering light. If you set a chameleon on a yellow surface, it'll turn yellow. If you set it on a red one, it'll turn red. In fact, chameleons don't change their own color to adjust to the color of their surrounding. Their mood, the amount of light, and temperature makes them change color. So when you see a bright yellow chameleon, it might be angry. Giraffes have the same number of neck vertebrae as you do. An average human neck is only 4 inches long, while giraffes usually have a 6-foot neck. But both have 7 bones in their necks. Pirates don't have eye patches to cover an eye that's missing, but to increase their night vision. They had to be aware of everything going on around them. So… Many think it's just a dry desert with nothing but sand over there. But research shows there's definitely water on Mars. Scientists found big saltwater lakes under the ice at the planet's South Pole. Bats are not blind. Their eyes are small and they don't see that well during the daytime, especially not so sharp and colorful as humans do. But their vision is adapted to different conditions and is excellent during the nighttime, unlike ours. Black holes aren't invisible. A black hole is a very compact and huge object that has an extremely powerful gravitational pull so strong, even light can't avoid it. The swallowing center is something scientists call the event horizon. It's surrounded by a glowing circle made of rock, debris, and space dust, so it can be seen pretty well. Scientists even got the first pictures of it. Despite what the name says, Iceland is not really covered with ice. The coast is ice-free during the entire winter. There are glaciers, but also lots of geysers and active volcanoes. In 2010, one of them woke up and threw up so much ash into the sky, air transport across Europe had to be stopped for a couple of days. Green peas, lentils, peanuts. Wait, peanuts? Yup, that's right. They don't belong to the group of nuts, but legumes. Moon has a dark side. Not quite. The side that's facing away from the Earth is no darker than any other part of its surface. Sunlight equally falls on all of its sides, so it only seems to be dark from our perspective. 